वेलकम टू दी पार्ट टू वर्शन ऑफ वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू क्रिएट लेजर वाउचर रिपोर्ट इन पावर बी आई यूजिंग टैली डेटा सो इफ यू आर जम्प डायरेक्टली इन दिस वीडियो एंशर यू वॉच पार्ट वन फर्स्ट सो यू फाइंड अ लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इन यू डिस्क्रिप्शन लेट्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम वेरी वी लिफ्ट विथ अ स्मॉल रिकैप सो एज यू कैन सो लेट मी फर्स्ट गो टू पावर बी आई स्क्रीन क्लिक ऑन पावर बी आई फ्रॉम एप्स Okay, now before I start with recap, you can notice something. So this is not a Excel Kida website. So I have uh, applied custom branding. So if you have premium license or maybe pro, you can apply this uh, organization branding. Okay, I will cover this at the end if you are interested. Okay, now so in the last video we saw, uh, so we basically imported tally data into database server and from using Power BI data gateway. it captured data in power bi data mart okay but data mart as you know is a online uh, azure managed sql server database which can directly connect to your power bi service okay and from there we did modeling and we prepared a report okay now let's continue let me go to the designated workspace so my workspace was test company okay so and let me show you that report ledger report okay so this was ledger report which we were making now again in this report as you know we are left with few of the features so it is simply uh, transactions we are able to see but now we need to add opening and closing balance so in this report i would demonstrate how to create majors for this and how to add cards to display opening and closing balance okay okay so i will press back so we can keep our ledger report open in separate tab so if you press control and click here it will open it in new tab okay okay now let's uh, make changes to modeling because we need to introduce two fields or i will say measures okay because uh, opening or closing balance is dynamic so we need to introduce two measures in our data model okay so i'll go inside data mart and let's go to modeling section okay so you can find this in modeling section okay now i need to introduce two fields called opening and closing balance okay now opening balance naturally so this is an uh, single year data so i am assuming that you are splitting company or maybe even if you don't split the company if you uh, set from and to date while you are uh, exporting this data into via utility you will naturally in opening balance field you will get opening balance so opening balance is simply opening balance field and closing balance is opening balance plus net debit credits during the year okay so i i'll be introducing two fields now you might say that ledger already has a field called opening balance so why to create a measure for that okay, the reason is that in future videos i would be using group balances okay so all the ledger balances inside the group so in that case i would be requiring opening balance major so it would be summarizing opening balances for all the groups okay so consider it from a long term perspective okay, so let us create two measures so first one is opening balance so i'll click here and sorry not here okay so you can in ledger i want to create major okay so i'll click new major so let us now since it name is clashing let us make this by name underscore okay underscore opening balance equal to now this is simple sum of opening balance nothing great okay sum of opening balance now we require one more major called closing balance okay and again i will create this inside mst ledger only again i will click new major by selecting this mst ledger new measure underscore 
closing balance is equal to okay closing balance is opening balance plus net of debit credit okay so already opening balance sum is been captured by one major called underscore so we are already created okay so this major also now displays in this so i can reuse this major for this calculation plus okay net of debit credit now as you know in amount column it is already debit or credit okay if amount is debit it is negative if it is credit it is positive so i don't need to add separately debit and credit field so i can simply simply sum amount field from transaction table so accounting tr and accounting table okay sum of the amount in ta table called tr and accounting okay so this is my closing balance We have two measures created. Let me let us go to this report and expand this. I cannot to edit it first because uh, I cannot see editing window. So ensure you click edit if you want to edit this report. MST Ledger. Now since I didn't update it because I made changes in modeling, but I didn't update it. Here, okay, so I will have to click refresh button. Okay, now you can see both of this. So, opening balance first. Okay, so let me create a card. Okay, so you can find a card here. Okay. Card called opening balance. Okay, and let us drag opening balance field into this. Okay. Don't worry about the formatting. We will adjust it. Okay. Now it is in thousand. So let me change setting to ignore decimal. Okay. So I don't want this auto. Okay. I want it none. So that whole amount gets displayed. So it is displaying minus four lakh thirteen thousand three zero five. Okay. Minus means it is in debit. Let us confirm this using tally. Okay. So I will go to tally. Okay. I will open this. Ledger voucher report and cash. Okay, and I will set period one four. Okay, now let me ba change base here. So this was seventeen eighteen. Okay, now I can go to ledger voucher cash and one four seventeen to thirty one three naturally eighteen. So opening balance four one three three zero five point three four four one three zero point three four. Correct. Let's check closing balance. Okay. So I can make copy paste of this. Okay. And here instead of opening balance, I will drag closing balance. Okay. I will drag closing. Three seventy one three two six point two nine. Let us check three seventy one three two six. Yes, three two six point. Two nine, okay, working perfectly. Minus mean debit sign. Now it's very re really difficult to uh, remember plus and minus, okay, for debit credit. So let's format this so minus with debit and plus with credits. So Power BI offers this thing. Okay, let me show you how to do this. Okay, but before that, first you need to know that how formatting is done okay now this applies for across all the microsoft technology even in excel this technique works okay let me launch notepad and show you how to format a number okay, notepad and i will increase this size semicolon okay now positive how to format positive how to format negative and how to format Zero value. So this is a standard mask of formatting any number. Okay. Now for positive, I want okay zero dot zero zero. This means on left hand side, this comma means format any number. Okay, in comma uh, formatted, and last zero means if it uh, uh, at least show. Let's say it is if it is zero point five three, so at least show zero. Okay, and two digit means 
show decimal up to two digits. Negative, okay. Negative, I will keep same, but negative, I would require debit, okay. And for zero, okay. Now here I would require. So if it is positive, it is credit, okay. Space CR. So that needs to be uh, double quotes because it is textual because this is mask for number and this is mask for so this is a textual value in the marks okay and we require same for debit here instead we need to have dr returns instead of and here let's say in double quote let us write nil okay zero instead of zero we will substitute with with nil okay so now i will copy paste this masking okay and assign this okay, so now i want opening balance okay this opening balance field to be formatted in custom okay custom that is this uh, browser based editor is a bit i uh, means tricky to operate okay so you may have to do something like this go here press enter you will have to on the first instance you will have to always struggle with this okay because they are very crude editor i will say okay finally we have got so by default i will set this something like this okay now i will substitute this with whatever text expression i have made in notepad okay like this let me click somewhere outside and apply this so i applied this to opening balance okay custom format let me update here so i'll have to refresh this so that i can see if it's okay, i'll have to expand this perfect okay. debit so now i can apply this same to even closing balance again you'll have to struggle with this This is a bug, you can say, in Microsoft system. Okay, so I applied for closing balance also. Let me refresh this. Let me refresh this. Okay, so you can see this applied also. Now uh, let us change it because numbers are appearing too big. Okay, and I also want this as written as opening balance. I can. I rename this as let's say opening balance okay and this as closing balance closing balance okay now let us adjust font of this because this is very big as you can see okay so maybe you can have arial or something font like this and let us reduce this to be it in sync maybe 16 is okay 16 or maybe 20 okay now this seems perfect let me apply this even for this 20 and font is consolas okay, now this seems perfect now it's up to you where do you want to place this okay if you want just like tally closing balance at the bottom and is right you can place okay i am okay even with this like this opening and closing balance okay seems great and now i want net debit credit also okay so let me add this now the issue is that whenever i add uh, totalings okay let me turn on the totals 
ओके सो दिज आर नेट डेबिट क्रेडिट लेटर स्टैली दिस टू नाइन फोर सिक्स फाइव एट फोर टू नाइन फोर सिक्स फाइव एट फोर नाउ द इश्यू इज दैट इट इज समराइजिंग दिस ऑल्सो ओके लेजर नेम वेर एज आई शुड नॉट बी समराइजिंग दिस बट नाउ सिंस दिस इज अ मेजर ओके मेजर ऑलवेज समराइजेस सो पावर बी ए थिंग्स इट इज अ समराइजेशन सो आई शुड नॉट बी समराइजिंग दिस ऑन टोटल लेवल नाउ directly there is no option to specifically remove this what we can do we can turn this font color to white okay specific column let's say ledger okay ledger so i want text color to be white sorry let me revert this back okay now okay i want this setting only apply to total okay so i will set this color to white okay now this has gone it is total net debit credit okay now it seems okay now let's check if this debit credit format really works okay so let me select some ledger from trial balance where there is zero balance and there is credit balance okay we'll go to tally okay and let me go to trial balance okay trial balance and ledger wise ledger wise trial balance sorry 14 Two thirty-one-three, and I want this ledger wise, and I want to see. I want to see opening balance, yes, no, and closing balance. Let's say our cover school. Okay, let's say this ledger. credit so it is working perfectly and let's say for some zero balance like advertisement account okay opening is zero and closing is debit advertisement advertisement account okay so instead of zero we get nil and closing is 72000 debit okay so this is working perfectly now friends you must give this technique a try okay i will uh, you can also perform this in power bi desktop okay procedure is a bit different but i will personally insist purchase power bi premium per user and use the data mart because that is the best thing i have found okay and there are more videos in this series series okay so this is not a last video stay tuned to the excel kida channel for the next up video of this series